so I'm not good at this workout thing. But I noticed that I've just been feeling kind of bleh lately. So I thought that I would try doing some treadmill time. And we'll just see how that turns out. So that's what I'm doing today. Gonna do some treadmill time. So last time I tried to do couch to 5K or run. I did it on the highway and I was running and some teenagers yelled out the window, you better run fatty or something of that sort. And it really bothered me and discouraged me. Um, I was out there trying and trying to be healthy and it was not encouraging. And I know it was just teenagers and they're just being teenagers, but words hurt even when you're an adult. And um, that was a long time ago. That was before Elijah was born even. And, uh, but it impacted me. And so I'm running on the treadmill now. That's one of the reasons. The other reason is that I need entertainment. Um, I am not one of those people that can handle just the quiet and the thinking and the time alone. No, I need something to be entertained by so I can watch Netflix when I run on the treadmill. So I started Couch to 5K. I'm hoping I'll be able to finish it. I don't know. Um, I have PCOS and that would be good for that. And so I'm starting and today is my second day and week one and I will see how it goes. I'm just going to do it. So I finished day two and my core hurt something awful, but I did it. I kept overheating the poor treadmill and then I almost cried because I thought I was going to have to go outside and that was stressful. But KJ saved the day. He's my hero. So I did it. Week one, day three is done. I don't know if it really counts. The treadmill's acting up and it keeps kicking the fuse and I tried to keep moving while I wait before I can reset it because you have to wait 30 seconds or so. So hopefully KJ can fix that because I really don't want to run outside, but we can't afford a new treadmill. So I guess it'll be what it'll be. At least I did some movement and I'm sweating. So I know it was a workout um, and I'm just gonna keep going. I'm not gonna give up. So week two, day one is today. I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I'm a little nervous because last week the um, treadmill was having friction problems and it kept kicking the circuit breaker. KJ figured that out and got some of the silicone spray to get to put in there to make it run a little better, but I still am nervous about it because it was broken up. I tried to keep moving, but you had to wait 30 seconds before you could reset the circuit breaker. So I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna keep going. That's not good. Okay, I made it to the cool down. Yay, so now five or less actually now because I had some camera. More minutes and I'm good. I did make it. I didn't have to stop. I didn't have to turn back to week one. So I'm doing good on week two. It was hard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, the first two minutes I started pretty fast for me. I was doing good. The next time I had to do it a little slower, so I plotted more than ran, but it was way more than walking. I'm sweaty, so I know I got my heart rate up. And it's way more than I was ever doing before. So I'm moving forward, and uh, that's a good thing. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, my husband is a genius. The treadmill is working great, so the silicone spray did its job. And uh, I haven't had any problems at all with it. So that's great. Yay! Okay, I haven't brushed my hair today. It's looking a little crazy. But couch to 5K, week two, day three super nervous about week three but that's not gonna happen until I'm in the hotel on Thursday so we'll just see how that goes the boys are upstairs Jeremiah's doing grammar Elijah's playing the switch told him don't come get me unless there's an emergency so here we go so I played with makeup if you can't tell and did some classes for 911 
Now I've started my Couch to 5K app and I am in the hotel weight room watching some HGTV. Yay! Ha! So I'm back to the room. I did my workout. I about died, but not really. Three minutes was hard, but not near as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm pretty proud of myself. I had to do three minutes, not once, but twice. I thought it was a minute and a half, three minutes, a minute and a half, nope. Minute and a half, three minutes, minute and a half, three minutes. But I did it. And actually I prefer that because it's less times you have to do it. I don't know why, even though it's longer, the less times was better for me. But now I'm gonna put on my swimsuit and go sit in the hot tub and you guys will not join me for that. Good morning. It is, what time is it? 6.54, we're a little late, we got to visiting. And I'm gonna do week three, day two, and Rhonda is gonna walk with me. <laughs> I do got it. Okay, I look crazy at the moment. I'm going to run and I think there's five minutes today. So I think I'm actually gonna switch from logging it for, as a walk to a run. This is week four. I'm terrified, so terrified. But I gotta find something to watch first. So maybe a movie. I don't know. So I had two five minute runs and two three minutes runs with just a minute and a half of walking in between in this workout. I'm doing my cool down now, but it about killed me. I am hot and tired, but I did it. I had to run slower for my second set, but that's okay. I'll do it again. So, part of my non-brushed hair, but if I don't do this first thing in the morning, I'm scared I won't do it. KJ is at EMT training. The boys are upstairs watching Saturday morning cartoons. I gave permission to play the Switch in the Wii U just so that I could get this done. Um, this is week four, day two. And week four, day one about killed me. I thought I was gonna have to back up to week three. It was really, really, really hard. So I'm a little nervous about today. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm putting in a different movie. Maybe that'll be a more entertaining. I tried to watch The Crown last time and it's just not entertaining enough to keep my mind off of feeling like I'm dying. So. We'll see how this goes, but I'm still going at it. I haven't really lost a lot of weight, but I feel better, and so that's good. I know I'm doing healthy things for that part, so. All right, so week four, day three. Can't believe that already. So this Couch to 5K, there's different versions. I found out after eight weeks, you're done. So they say it's nine weeks, but really it's not. You only do it for eight weeks. So it's gonna get really intense. We'll see if I end up having to repeat weeks. It's not a failure if I have to repeat a week. It's okay. It's hard. And at least I'm doing something. So um, got a compliment at church yesterday. Somebody said it looked like I was losing weight. I have not on the scale, but maybe things are rearranging. It's good. I won't turn down a compliment. So anyway, I am going to do this. Yay. So week four, day three was easier actually. Still hard, but the first five minutes wasn't too terrible. So getting better. So my husband had to basically kick me downstairs, but I'm here to do week five, day one. Yay! So I did it. Three running sections in that one. Five minutes apart. No, three minutes apart. So there's three minutes of walking in between them. But they're five minutes each. Whew! It was hard. Especially that last one. But I did it tomorrow. No, Saturday. My birthday! I think I have to do an eight minute. And I'm a little nervous about that. But... All I can do is do it. So today, 
It's my birthday. I turned 40 today and I have to work out. And I'm having a bit of a pity party because I think you shouldn't have to do anything on your birthday. And I do. I'm having to, we got up and at least I got time to wake up. And then we had to go work on the computer at the school to get it to display pictures and make sure Jeremiah was there for the play and watch the play, which was fun. But then straight from that here, I have to work out and then I have to cook dinner and I just want to do nothing because tomorrow's going to be crazy and I'm tired. But I'm doing this because I'm supposed to do this. So that's how it is. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to run my first ever 20 minutes of running. We'll see if I can do it or not. I'm going to try. Um, ever in my life. I'm sure I've never run 20 minutes before in my life. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to find something. I know what I want to watch, but it's Disney Plus on Netflix. I'm in the wrong place. Anyway. I'm pretty sick on my stomach actually with the anxiety about it which is silly because if I can't do it I just try again but anyway I've been putting it off and putting it off and it is 419 I'm gonna have to cook supper and I get done I'm stressed about that a little too I just want to sit when I'm done but life is busy and piano lessons happen and I just couldn't get it done earlier so and I have to let KJ have time to run and so anyway it's crazy so, there's no light continue. Anyway, I'm gonna do this. So I made it halfway. Sorry if I'm yelling, I'm watching the show. But I needed to document that I've done 10 minutes. 11 by now, probably. And I just need something to keep me going. So talking to you and telling you that is doing it. All right, 10 more minutes. I did it. I ran for 20 minutes. Whew. I thought I was gonna die, but. I shut everything down so I couldn't see and just set a timer on my watch so it would tap me. I did peek a couple times. I was really excited to see that I made it halfway. I never thought I could do that. I'm pretty excited actually. Can't wait to post that on Facebook. Share it with people. That's crazy. So, there you go. Okay, so I don't even know what day I'm on. I think week six, day one. So. After the 20 minute run, I feel like I can do anything now. So, um, oh wrong one, I forgot it's Disney Plus. So anyway, I'm going to um, do this run. Jeremiah, it sounds like he's doing piano upstairs. He was supposed to be doing math and when he finished doing his math, he could do piano. I did a little laundry before I came down here. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but we're going to do this. Yay. All right. Actually, that might have been harder than the 20, 20 minutes of running. I tried to do the first section faster, so it was a little difficult, but I did it. And uh, the last part, I was tempted to walk a little the last five minutes, but <clears throat> I didn't. So... Week six, day one is done. Okay, so I think this is week six, day three, day two. I don't even know, but I'll tell you when I'm done. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna do it. I'm excited. Yesterday, my weight on the scale dipped below what it has been in like a year and a half. Um, what my goal has been for a year and a half. It's been longer since I've seen that weight. But anyway. I'm super excited about that. So I set a new goal down, I think five or 10 more pounds. Um, just little bits at a time. It wasn't my final goal for sure. So I'm just gonna keep going. I need to set little goals so that when I reach a goal, I can celebrate and be excited. So I did that and then it makes you wanna go more. So today is two 10 minute sections. So it's the last one that's in sections. And then it's just 20 something minutes, 20 something minutes. So we'll just, See how it is, I guess I'm a runner now. Week six, day two, done. That's what it was. Two 10 minute runs, not too bad. I mean, I got tired and hot, but not like I couldn't do it. So, Saturday, no, 
Tuesday. Whenever I run again, it might be rough. But that's okay, we got it. Mondays tend to be hard, for me at least. Um, I just have so much to do after a busy Sunday, especially yesterday with Super Bowl was really busy. Um, it's busy, it's late, I didn't sleep good last night, and then I have to get up this morning, I have to do school, and Jeremiah's always hard to get back into school on a Monday. And um, today I had to run, I have to get things set up for worship practice, um, be ready for Bible study in case Brianna's kids are still sick and she can't make it, or she's going to the doctor with them, so I know they're still sick, but they need her there, um, if they need her there. So. It's just, they stress me out. There's not a lot of downtime and I need a little downtime in my day. So I had to wait for KJ to finish his run and now I'm on the treadmill and gonna try and get that done. Jeremiah's doing his grammar. I put a little cartoon on for Elijah. Then I am frustrated. I don't get time to relax after my run and I have to just go straight into cooking. So it's a lot, but it's life. Week six, day three. Well, it's almost done. I'm doing the cool down. So I ran for 22 minutes straight. I had to Snapchat a couple people in the middle. It got hard. Well, yeah, it was hard, but I did it. And uh, I feel like I can do this more often. Like, instead of feeling like, oh, I'm gonna die, I can't do this. I feel like it's hard, but I can do it, if that makes any sense. So, anyway. Uh, next time I run, it's week seven out of an eight-week program, so that's not bad. I'm really getting there. Yay! So week seven, day one today. I should have done it yesterday. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as I do during the week, but I didn't feel so good yesterday. I just had an upset tummy, and so I figured running wasn't a good idea. I'm actually kind of excited that I feel good enough to do it today, and I got a good night's sleep last night. Ready to go. KJ got off to um, work at the church early enough that I could actually do it earlier in the morning, which I prefer, um, so that I just have time to recoup before fixing lunch in the afternoon. So Elijah's upstairs watching some cartoons. He's already finished his school for the day, and uh, he's preschool stuff. And Jeremiah's up doing his creative writing, which normally takes him about a half an hour or more, so I should be good. He's got orders that if he's done with that, he's supposed to practice his piano, which is part of his school, so doing his piano practice. So I am going to do this. I have to do 25 minutes today, which I'm not happy about, but I am happy about being able to do something. So um, Duty asked me, Doris, who's KJ's stepmom, asked me if I liked running, and I really don't. She said she didn't in the beginning either, but I'm gonna keep doing it because I have to do something active. Um, three days a week, I think, is my goal for now, and I'm going to try and keep that up, keep that steady, and um, at least 30 minutes. So, we'll just see where that takes me. Alright, that was week seven, day one. It actually felt pretty good. Um, I even tried to speed it up some at the end because I felt like I had more juice. So, we'll see how it goes uh, with recovery. But uh, I think I'm well on my way. So, sorry for my bed. Um, I'm on week seven, day two. Yay. Um, another 25 minute run, which is what I did last time. It says 25 minute or 2.5 miles. My 25 minutes was only two miles. So um, I gotta work on my speed a little bit at some point, but I don't wanna injure myself worrying about speed. I'm just doing it and I'm proud of that. It was pretty decent last time. I wouldn't say it was easy, but it wasn't like I thought I was gonna die. So I'm hoping today is like that. I guess I don't know. But um, KJ's at a funeral and the boys are upstairs watching Apple and Onion, some show they like. The kids are weird. And uh, so I'm gonna put my show on here on Disney Plus and get to it. Okay, so I did it. It uh, was harder than it was the other day, but not unbearable. The last 30 seconds when I was supposed to be starting cool down, I decided to go for it. So I put it up to uh, faster and ran full out. So didn't hurt myself, 
I just wanted to see if I could do it, but I'm really out of breath. But week seven, day two is done. I only have a week and one day left. So exciting. So it's week seven, day three. Um, it's really, really hard to figure out schedule a little bit because KJ has to run and I have to run. So that's causing some frustration. KJ's gonna run this afternoon. It wouldn't be so bad except at 2.30 we have to be at piano lessons and then um, the Mergen Dole Bear Clan's coming over so there's not really much time after to do the running thing. So we'll have to figure that out. But for now, KJ didn't run this morning and I just sent Jeremiah to do his creative writing and if he doesn't, if he gets done, he'll do piano and then he'll just have to wait till I'm done. So we'll see how it goes. Seven day three is done. It's hard. I still did the last 30 seconds, bumped up, went as hard as I could. You can tell by my breathing. Um, that was 25 minutes of jogging and then five minute warm up, five minute cool down. That's what I'm in, is the cool down. Um, watching Marvel's Runaway still, Disney Plus. Thanks, Melissa. Um, <laughs> Um, week eight starts next time, 28 minutes, I think. Today was hard. KJ said running's like that. Some days are hard, some days are not. So I'm not sure, but we'll go do it. So it's week eight, day one. I'm walking really slow now. I haven't even started my warm up, but um, gotta get everything set up. Laundry's in. We have an extra kid today, one of our friends. They went skiing and they dropped two kids off with grandma and one off with us, so the boys are playing with their friend, quite happy upstairs. KJ's up there. He decided to stay home today just so I could run and get some things done too, so. Yay. 28 minutes. I'm a little nervous about that. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, done with week eight. Day one, ran 28 minutes. The last 30 seconds, hard as I could. And I'm cooling down. Week eight, day two. I am uh, not feeling the greatest today. Elijah woke me up and I just didn't feel like getting up early. And on Saturday, it's my only day to sleep in. And sleep means a lot to me, I don't know why. I like to sleep. And um, so I got up and I kind of laced around. I went back to sleep. So I didn't really want to do this, but I need three days this week and this is my last chance, so I can't skip another day. So next week's a little crazy. I'm filling in at 911 once and, well, well, I'm not filling in. I'm training to fill in. Anyway, I'm going to, um, it's trying to get me to move. <laughs> I am going to do this, so we'll just see how it goes. This is week eight, day two. I have one more day and I'm done with the whole program. And I'll have to do things on my own, I guess. So, kind of document it. Do a vlog, maybe, or something on that. But, that's it. I did it. Week AJ2 is done. Once again, the last 30 seconds, hard out. I'm doing all right. Time to cool down. Well, here I am. Week eight, day three. It is the last day. I run for 30 minutes today. That sounds crazy. I ran for 30 seconds at a time on day one, and now it's 30 minutes that I'm going to run with a five minute uh, warm up and a five minute cool down. Um, I'm super excited. I wasn't sure I'd make it to this point, but here I am. And uh, so I'm going to get this done. KJ is being kind and letting me go first. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Jeremiah's doing grammar. Um, we're having modified school days this week because I just have so much happening. I'm going to Circle, Mile City, Billings, all over the place. And so there are certain things, we have enough hours to be done with our school year, but there are certain things, uh, concepts I want them to get. So we're gonna finish that part, especially grammar and math. So those are the ones I'm gonna push forward with. And so we are doing that. And I am going to run now. Woo, I did it. I ran 30, actually 30 minutes and 30 seconds. The last 15 seconds of my run, I bumped it up and ran all out. Then I did 30 extra seconds. So, 
Next workout, I just get to work on speed. The Couch to 5K is officially in the books.